Welcome to today's episode of Time Well Spent. It's my great pleasure to welcome Cheryl Dean Duhaney, who is a parent and foster parent of six children who attend our SCDSB schools. She is a certified speaker, coach, and leadership trainer, and is the founder of the I Lead You Center, which serves Simcoe Muskoka and the surrounding community. Thank you so much for your time today, Cheryl Dean, as we explore the concept of racism and the steps that we can all take to move forward in standing up against it and the harm that it causes. Thank you so much for having me, appreciate it. Can you share with us a little bit of the background of the work that you're doing in the Bradford community? Sure, thank you so much for that question. So um, one of the recent projects that my team and I did here in the community, we actually did a food drive. And as you know, the pandemic hits and most families of course are facing more challenges than most so we came together and we did a food drive in the community to help families that are struggling and not able financially to supply the necessities for their family especially children in care so that was one of the projects that we did um also i am a parent council i'm also on the parent council committee at um, chris Abfield elementary where my children attend and um, this past February, I actually worked closely with Chris Adfield and Bradford High, because you know, February is Black History Month, right? Mm -hmm. So I worked closely with them with that project. And I was the speaker for both schools, assemblies, and um, it was a great success. And also, as you mentioned in the intro, that I am the founder of I Lead Youth um, Center here in Bradford and the youth the youth leadership program for youth in community so through this leadership program youth will be exposed to essential skills and values to help them become well-rounded and responsible members of the community and because we know as a leader we know how important culture is so of course you know being Jamaican born I am a Jamaican <laughs> As a leader, we understand the importance of culture and how it is a strong part of people's lives. So having knowledge and understanding of one's culture, it's going to bring more connection and, of course, build a stronger relationship. Mm -hmm. um, basically, that's it. And, yeah, you know, I'm a foster parent over, I think, over seven years with Simcoe, Muskoka. Yeah. Wow. Fantastic. First and foremost, we need to know what is anti-black racism, right? So we can actually better have a better understanding of the resources that need to be implemented in the educational system. So anti-racism, of course, is attitude, discrimination, and belief against African black descendants, right? Mm -hmm. So I encourage the school system to provide professional development training on equity and anti-black racism also strategic um hiring right practices and mm -hmm. also teachers that have experiences the, the live experiences of the students mm -hmm. so those are my three um things that i would definitely bring forward i, I yeah. appreciate that thank you so much for that guidance Well, there are so many, to be honest with you, but to narrow them down, Chris Adfield um, is a very, they're very open to new ideas, right? Mm -hmm. They're very positive to new ideas. So those are some of the positives and many others. And also, of course, embracing the Black history. I really appreciate it. Of course, there's more room for growth and improvement in sure. that culture. And I believe that the, um, the school system is in Simcoe County is very open, uh, hopefully moving forward to mm -hmm. make it more of a um, focus as well for Black youth. Well, for myself, of course, I have experienced it before in my little town here. I remember when I just moved here, I um, think 12 years ago, I was told that I don't belong here, right? And of course, that's very harsh to say, you know, to, to, to anybody at all that you don't belong here. So, and especially for my, um, for the generation to come, right? It is very important that we definitely recreate a system that does not tolerate this behavior at 
all, right? And it's very important that we come together as a community and make sure that this system is broken, the racism system is broken because it is there. So it's very critical to the next generation. It also critical, um, again, even to our health as well. So that's how critical it is why we need to definitely take actions and make sure that it is zero tolerance possible. And of course, it's going to take persons like yourself and those that are in higher ranks, right? The power who can make sure that these things are zero, zero tolerance at all, because we don't want our next generation to go through this at all. Nobody should go through oppression. Nobody should experience, you know, things like this on a daily. It is just unacceptable. So it's very critical to the next generation to come. And as a leader, leadership is influence. What are the what are the positive messages that we are delivering? What are we saying to our next generation to come that it, it is okay? to treat people unkindly is it okay to take away opportunities and only give opportunities to certain race mm -hmm. so we have to definitely as people human beings come together and put a stop to this and recreate the system i, lo I love that message of the importance of coming together geraldine it mm -hmm. really is going to be an important step for us moving forward and Excellent. i appreciate the time that you've given us today giving us a parental perspective that you've shared with us as Simcoe County District School Board staff. It's mm -hmm. provided us with another opportunity for learning and reflection mm -hmm. related to our strategic pillar of equity, diversity, and inclusion. And this indeed tonight was time well spent. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I wish you all my best. <laughs>